वेलकम एवरीवन टू द न्यू वीडियो इन डिस्क्रीट मैथ्स सीरीज इन कंटिन्यूएशन टू द लास्ट वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व सम मोर प्रॉब्लम आई थॉट दैट द प्रॉब्लम्स दैट आई टुक इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो थ्री प्रॉब्लम्स यू हैव अंडरस्टूड देम जस्ट टू मेक द कॉन्सेप्ट एब्सोल्युटली क्लियर आई एम टेकिंग सम मोर प्रॉब्लम्स प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग एक्चुअली हेल्प्स यू इम्प्रूव योर स्किल्स सो दैट इज वाई आई एम टेकिंग इट but before you continue this if you are new to the channel uh, subscribe it and watch all the videos in sequential order so that you get uh, all the concept absolutely fine right so ladies and gentlemen let's start so the question here is that let px qx and rx be the statement x is clear explanation which i have written here px is x is clear explanation x is satisfactory that i am calling qx x is satisfactory and x is an excuse that a statement is being called rx right suppose that the domain of uh, for x consist of all english text so i am taking all the text available in english language and then we have to express these four statements uh, using px qx and rx and uh, you know quantifiers and logical connectives so by now i hope you are uh, clear about what they are expecting from us so let us write the answers one by one i am writing the answer here a so the first statement is all clear explanations are satisfactory before i write it i would suggest you to pause the video try writing it yourself so that uh, to check whether you have understood the concept clear or not so all clear explanations are satisfactory means it is very obvious that here we have to use the universal quantification for all x uh, x is a clear explanation that is px right x is a clear explanation that is px and uh, next uh, all clear explanations are satisfactory so for all x px what is the satisfactory thing x qx is representing x is satisfactory so i will write for all x px implies qx i hope uh, there is no doubt in this for all x px implies qx means all clear explanation are satisfactory very obvious some excuses are unsatisfactory and here we have to use the you know existential quantifier there exist x some excuses are unsatisfactory so there exist x x is an excuse rx and what do you think so they write implies or for all this is what we discussed in detail in the previous video so we should not put implies here we are using the existential quantifier so there exist x rx and negation of qx right means some excuses are unsatisfactory so qx is x is a satisfactory x is satisfactory so unsatisfactory will be negation of qx this is important when i am writing there exist x we should not write rx implies negation of qx rather we should write rx and negation of qx right uh, why uh, please watch the previous videos to get the uh, better idea of it third one is some excuses are not clear explanation again we have to use Uh, you know existential quantifier there exists some x some excuses are not clear uh, explanation so there exist x rx if rx is an excuse that rx is not a clear explanation means negation of px okay so this is how i have to write the statement number 1 statement number 2 and statement number 3 but the fourth part that they are asking is that uh, does c follow from a and b and the answer will be yes c follows from a and b why the answer will be yes that uh, if you uh, look at uh, the statement uh, the part b of this statement they are suggesting some excuses are unsatisfactory so uh, if i can write it so that uh, you can create your own notes so let me write it that part b says that what it says says that some excuses some excuses are unsatisfactory unsatisfactory this is what the part b is suggesting 
and at the same time part a is also suggesting that all clear explanations are satisfactory so part a suggests that and part a uh, says that all clear explanations all clear explanations are satisfactory now i want you to look at both the statements in one go right so part b is saying that some excuses are unsatisfactory and part a also guarantees right part a is guarantees that all clear explanations are satisfactory it means what that some excuses are not clear explanation why because some excuses are unsatisfactory right and part a is suggesting all clear explanations are satisfactory means what that some excuses are not clear explanation so we can conclude that so some excuses are not clear explanation right i hope you got this right let me repeat it one more time here the part b is saying that some excuses are unsatisfactory and part a is saying all clear explanations are satisfactory so part b part b guarantees that there are some uh, you know excuses which are unsatisfactory and along with part a if it is an unsatisfactory explanation means all clear explanations should be satisfactory so some excuses are there which are not necessarily the clear explanation right so this is how you solve this kind of problems i hope the if you have watched the previous video uh, there i solved three problems here i solved another problem fourth problem so i am going to take one more problem in the end and then i will consider this topic to be over and uh, i hope you have uh, uh, understood it properly right so let us move to the next so ladies and gentlemen uh, if you look at this problem similar problem let px qx uh, rx and sx be a statement i and i have written here separately px x is a baby qx x is logical rx x is able to manage a crocodile right crocodile and sx is the statement x is despised despised means something which you look down upon it means you despise something means you look it at in a very derogatory way uh, and uh, the domain uh, the domain contains all people so if i have to translate this i think by now you are clear that what is the expectation so we have to translate this english language using quantifiers logical connective and the statements that they have defined one more thing i would like to highlight here that it may be possible that uh, in exams or in some situations they may not necessarily you know give you this that these are px these are qx in that case you can uh, define it yourself then you can define the statement like x is a baby x is logical so that you have to do now uh, the first statement is babies are logical and i already have written it so that we you know, can save some time so babies are logical so x is a baby means for all x if x is a baby means px uh, are implies not logical i made the mistake illogical right so babies are illogical so qx is uh, x is logical so what is x is illogical negation of qx so the first statement is babies are illogical will be like for all x px implies negation of qx now let us look at the next statement nobody is despised who can manage a crocodile nobody right nobody is despised who can manage a crocodile so before i write it i am going to uh, look at this statement in a slightly different way everybody everybody who can manage a crocodile is not despised right everybody who can manage a crocodile is not despised do you think both of these statements are same i guess so so i will write this again for all x for everyone who can manage a cro crocodile who can manage a crocodile means rx so for all x rx implies x is not despised so negation of sx right 
means ideally this should not happen managing a crocodile should not be a parameter to despise or not despise someone <laughs> yes or no <laughs> we are all human beings and why should we you know deal with the crocodiles but this is how the problem is a statement is so we can ignore the logical part of it right here we are talking about logical but logical part in the context that <laughs> in day to day life this this should not happen right okay third statement illogical persons are despised so this is also very obvious for all x if x is illogical means negation of qx implies x will be despised that should happen right that should happen if you are not logical certainly you should be despised so for all x negation of qx implies and despised is negation of sx right not sx uh, yeah x is despised so yeah sx sx not negation let me correct it just give me a moment so for all x uh, illogical person are despised so negation of qx is uh, implies sx okay and finally babies cannot manage crocodile means for all x if x is a baby means px implies negation of rx negation of rx here in all the problems we are using the universal quantification now finally look at the last statement does d means this statement can we say that this statement can be you know considered to be a valid conclusion from the first three statement that is what they are asking so i'm not going to write i'm going to explain and i would suggest you that you can take a pen and paper and write it so uh, does d follow from a b and c so let us look at this statement this way first suppose x is a baby suppose x is a baby right so if x is a baby then by the first statement x is illogical by first statement by x a x is illogical illogical uh, so if x is illogical by the third statement by the statement c illogical persons are despised so uh, x is despised i started with x is a baby now babies are illogical because the first statement is saying that babies are illogical third statement is saying that illogical persons are despised so i would say that uh, third statement uh, guarantees that x is despised now the second statement means a statement b is saying that if x could manage a cro crocodile x will not be despised that is what the second statement is saying that nobody is despised who can manage a cro crocodile you have started with x is a baby you know that from the first statement x is illogical you know from the third statement that illogical persons are despised and those people who can manage a crocodile are not despised so here x is despised because x cannot uh, manage a crocodile right i mean that is the conclusion so babies cannot manage a crocodile right so that that is a valid conclusion let me uh, rephrase my whole argument again so that uh, you don't miss it i start with the argument that let x is a baby so a statement number a guarantees that x is illogical okay a statement c says that illogical person has despised means x is despised a statement b is saying that nobody is despised who can manage a crocodile but x is being despised it means what x cannot manage a crocodile what was x x was a baby so that guarantees the last statement yes this is a valid conclusion that babies cannot manage a crocodile so i would suggest you that what is the answer of this does d follows from a b and c the answer is yes it follows from a a b and c and uh, you can write the answer in your own language so with this i believe that whatever we have discussed in the videos related to predicate and quantifiers and solve lot of problems and i uh, thought of uh, making this problem uh, making this platform uh, problem solving platform so that a student have sufficient practice right 
so that is all for this videos uh, in case if you have still not subscribed liked please do that because that will motivate me thanks for watching have a nice day